everyone. Today I'm going to share with you a quick mono printing method. This is a really nice method for loosening up your drawing, loosening up your printmaking skills and experimenting and being a little bit um, free with it, which is really, uh, really lovely. Um, you're going to need a sheet of plastic or um, sometimes you can use toughened glass um, something like that. A printmaking ink, an oil-based ink is better here um, because it's going to stay open for longer. We don't want it to dry so quickly that we can't um, that we can't get our print made in time. You can try using a water-based ink if that's what you've got to hand, and then absolutely go for that. You're just going to need to work a little bit faster. I'm using Caligo Safe Wash ink, which is um, oil-based but water washable, which means that you can wash it up with soap and water. So I'm not going to have to deal with any mess in my kitchen sink later. So I've got some ink rolled out onto a tray here. Let's just refresh that. And I'm just using black ink just to make things simpler, but you can use a mixture of colours, any colours that you like. Just got a, um, a roller evenly coated um, in ink and I'm going to roll a bit out onto my plastic here. And I'm working in the garden so the surface isn't completely, um, completely smooth because I'm just working on paving slabs here. So a few rolls just to get an even surface. It doesn't matter too much. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is put some paper over the top. We don't want our paper to pick up all of that ink um, straight away. So I want to rest it gently on the top. I'm not gonna be pressing down. Um, I'm then gonna draw all over the back of my paper um, with a pencil where the pencil touches the um, ink. Um, it's gonna make an impression. And it's gonna pick up the ink to have a drawn line. So let's see if I can do this in the breeze without the paper blowing everywhere. So let's just use a couple of thinned shells just to hold down the paper. Um, and then you can draw anything you like. I've just got some um, flowers from the garden that I'm going to doodle with. Okay, so I've kept my fingers to the outside of the paper where there is an ink. Um, I'm drawing quite firmly with the pencil and I'm not, I'm not doing too many faint sketch lines, I'm drawing quite um, confidently. Um, and it, don't worry too much about the, the state of the drawing, you can really just be free with it and see what you get. Um, and then hopefully when I peel this up, we're gonna have a printed drawing on the back. There we go. Like that, and you can see, hopefully, um, you can see that I've got lines um, of my drawing in place and nice and firm. I've got some also texture um, from the background, which is sort of an interesting effect. Um, you can, you'll sometimes get more or less of this depending on how much ink is down. If you don't like it so much, then just put less ink um, down on your plate. I'm just going to put that to one side. And then to do your next one, just re-roll out your ink. You want a nice thin layer. So don't worry about adding ink. You just want to even it out so that your drawn lines have disappeared. I've got ants on my printing plate. Try not to roll them in ink. Okay, so with a fresh sheet of paper, I'm going to place that down on my plate. And another nice way to use this technique, especially if you're not very confident in drawing or you're out of practice or you're just not really feeling it um, today, is you can get um, a magazine page, a, a picture, anything that you like, or a drawing that you've pre-done on a piece of paper. Um, and then you can just trace over the top of it. Remember that everything's going to be backwards. Um, it's going to be the other way around. So if you do any um, text, any writing, anything like that, it's going to be the other way around. Um, but you can just place your um, picture on top and then trace over the top. And there we go. You can use any type of paper um, that you've got. Um, the first piece I used was a piece of copy paper, just 80 gram copy paper from the printer. Um, this is a, a piece of 300 gram Snowden, so you can use whatever um, whatever you've got lying around is absolutely fine. You could try rolling out different colors, rolling out stripes, 
um, you could try applying it with a paintbrush if you don't have a roller in a nice thin layer. Um, you could even try poster paint and thing like that out on your on your plate. Um, you just might have to um, wash it with a with a sponge later on to make sure you get it all off your plastic. Um, but you can experiment with anything you like. Um, you don't have to be able to draw. Um, you can pick up materials and trace them. You can pick up. Um, items from around your house and garden and draw them. Have fun and experiment with it. You'll be able to create loads of prints really quickly. Um, so have fun with it.